Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube. I am Joe Atticus Inch, and welcome to today's episode of Poet Love. Just so you know, I am much more rested today than I was with yesterday's episode. Uh, I wasn't lying at the end of yesterday's episode. I actually ended up passing out while it was uploading on YouTube, so please check out that episode, because I love Rachel McKibbins, and I want everyone who can to check out her work. But because I'm more rested, I feel I can talk better about today's poet. Danny Sherrard. Danny Sherrard is a performance poet from Seattle, Washington. He's competed on three national slam teams, two for Seattle and one for Hawaii. He's a right bloody author who released his book Cast Your Eyes Like Riverstones Into the Exquisite Dark in 2009. He was also a member of the Spilljoy Ensemble Tour with John Sand, Shira Ehrlichman, and Ken Arkine. Danny is kind of a mystery to me. Uh, I met him back in 2007 after he won the individual title at the National Poetry Slam, and I was just fascinated by his work. Um, it was definitely a lot of work that I myself could relate to. Um, first poem that I ever heard him do uh, was, is something that he's only known for called Bus Boy, but then looking at p other videos like The Distance, he is, he, he is an esquit, he is a tremendous writer. His, his visuals, especially in like the, in The Distance, is just so, it just, it's, it's, it leaves me speechless, um, and it's, it's, what's funny is, I really haven't heard anything about Danny, it, it's weird to me, because he's such a tremendous, but I never really hear anything from him, last I heard was when he, back in 2009 when he did the Spilljoy Ensemble. And when I started getting serious and Cast Your Eyes was one of the first books that I wanted to purchase off Bright Bloody, but it was out of print. And it doesn't seem to be going back into print, so now I don't know if I can ever get a copy of it. Um, but Danny is just... Luckily, I have YouTube still because that's where I get, <clears throat> get most of Danny's work. I mean, Danny is kind of like, you know, where in the world is Carmen Sandiego poet right now? Because when I was trying to find research about him for this episode, the only thing I could find was a quick article on Wikipedia. I couldn't find a website. He wasn't on the Right Bloody website. Uh, and his Facebook, who I happen to be friends with him on Facebook, says he's in Jordan. Huh. So I guess this is going to be a quick episode. I suggest that you check out Danny Sherrard's work, and hopefully sometime in the near future we'll get more from Danny, because I think he he's truly a unique voice in the scene, and we need more poets like Danny, who, when they perform, it's complete energy, and when you read it, it's complete death. Um, so please, yeah, check out Danny Sherrard, look for Danny any way you can, I, that's all I can really say about him, since he's, it's, he's a, he's a mystery, um, where is he? So, I guess on that note, yeah, it's time to go back to the magic shoe box. <laughs> so, Danny, if you're watching, I'll just say this. Danny, if you're watching, I hope everything is well with you. I hope you're still writing and hope to hear something new from you soon. Until then, I'm Joe Atticus Inch reminding you to keep your pens moving, 
Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time.